Hey my quilty friends, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make the ribbon star quilt block with step-by-step -step instructions. It's part of my mystery block of the month series and if you'd like to join us I'll put the links down below so you can find out all the information including the previous five blocks because this is block number six. But for now let's get on and make our quilt block. You can find a copy of these cutting instructions over on my website, I'll put a link in the description below. Starting with our A and B pieces that measure seven and a quarter inches by seven and a quarter inches squared, we're just going to place them right sides together and then line up all four edges. And when we're happy that they're lined up, I'm going to pin them. And I like to pin them in the corner like this because we're going to sew around the entire edge and this way they don't get in the way. Now we're going to sew, like I said, around the entire edge. I'm stitching at stitch length two. I've got my quarter inch foot on, so I get a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm using wonderful confetti thread, and I'm gonna start on the very edge and sew all the way to the other edge. Or the bottom edge, rather. I'm gonna come right off the very edge, lift my foot up, and then pull it around so I can start on this edge and sew down this side. I like to do it this way instead of trying to guess where my quarter inch seam allowance is so I don't accidentally cut that corner. Coming right off the edge again and coming down the next side. going to remove our pins and cut. Now we're going to cut diagonally from corner to corner on both sides and we're going to place the ruler where the stitches intersect. So at the top and down here at the bottom. It can be a little bit fiddly and when you're happy we'll cut. And then we'll do exactly the same on this side. We won't move anything. I'm just going to turn my mat around. If you had a rotating mat that would be really handy right about now. Placing it right where those stitches intersect and cutting. Now we've got four pieces. Let's press. Now we're going to set our stitches, which helps our stitches set into the fabric, making them stronger and our block lay flatter. Then I'm going to bring this piece up and press our seams towards our B fabric. Give it a finger press here. We don't want any creases. And repeating that for all four pieces. So now we need to trim our half square triangles to four and a half inches by four and a half inches. And if you happen to have a ruler that is that perfect size, you can just place it on top. Place that diagonal line on top of your seam and then just trim around all four sides. And it's super nice and quick and easy. But not everyone has this ruler. If you're using another ruler that isn't exactly the right size, what we can do is again place that diagonal line on the seam and then we can just trim each side. So we know we need it to be four inches wide, so I'm just going to, sorry, four and a half inches wide, so I'm just going to check that we are achieving that. So one, two, three, four and a half, so that's going to be right, so I'll just trim this one side. Then I'll just turn it around and do the same on this side except I know this side's already cut perfectly so I'll line up my line on the edge at four and a half inches line my diagonal line up on the seam and then trim this excess off here and then I'll turn it and do exactly the same on these two sides Okay, and then what we need to do is repeat that for our other three pieces. Now because we're making them this way, we're cutting our fabric on the bias. So just handle them with a little bit of extra care because they're a little bit stretchy. One thing that can help with that is just using a little bit of starch before you cut your fabric. It just helps it be a, the fabric be a little bit more stiffer and easier to work with. So then once you've done this, we need to repeat exactly the same steps for our B and our D fabric. So in total, we'll have eight half square triangles. Mm -hmm. 
If you're enjoying this video, please do subscribe and hit the bell button so you don't miss out on another video. It really helps me out and I appreciate it so much. So now we're going to place all our pieces so they match our image above and I'm just going to take my time and make sure that it does match it. So we want to place it so we've got the A pieces touching the A fabric in the center and it's creating that star effect. Then we'll take the next ones and place them in the right order. And there we go. There we have our block. So do just double check they're all in the right order because it's much easier to change them around now if they're in the wrong position than once you've sewn them together because you'll end up in a bit of a pickle. Now what I'm going to do is sew each row together. So I'll just set these aside. So starting with the top row, I'm going to sew these two together and then these two together. So I'm going to face these two right sides together, line up these edges on the side, the top and this side. And when I'm happy, I'll pop a few pins in. Then when I've sewn them together, like I said, I'll sew this one on too. Then I've done one row and then I'll repeat that for the other two rows. So starting on the very edge again, not worrying about a back stitch, removing my pins as I need to. When I come up to the seams, I'm just going to make sure I'm sewing them down in the direction they were pressed. Coming off the very edge, cutting my thread. So now taking the next piece, making sure it is in the correct position, lining up all those edges and pinning again. And sewing. I'm going to repeat that for the other two rows. So one thing to note is when you are pressing your half square triangles, press your fabric towards the B fabric because then they're just going to sit a little bit nicer when we're sewing them together. Now what we need to do is press our seams in alternating directions so we can nest the seam. So this top row will be pressed to my right, the middle row to my left, and this bottom row to my right again. So I'll just set the stitches and press these ones to my right. Finger pressing, we don't want any creases in there. And then for this one to my left and the top one to my right again. Okay, now we're going to sew our rows together. So just placing our rows in the correct position again and double checking that. Then I'm going to sew these two rows together and then add this row onto it. So I'll just pop that one out of the way. I'll place these two rows right sides together. Then I'm going to find the seams to nest. So what that means is I've got one set of seams pressed and coming this way, one set of seams pressed and coming over this way. I'm going to push those seams up against each other or butt them up against each other so they can't go any further. Then I like to just open it up and make sure I'm creating a nice straight line. And also that these top edges are lined up nicely. And then when I'm happy, I'll just pop a pin in. And then I'll come over to this set of seams and do exactly the same. And then I like to put a pin in at the beginning and the end. And if you'd like to, you can pop a pin in in the middle as well. But I'm just going to sew that and then I'll repeat this process for the last row. So 
So now I'm just going to press my seams open. This is just a personal preference. You can press yours however you like. And then I'll flip it over and give it a once over on the top. And there's our ribbon star quilt block. Isn't that super cute? So there's our ribbon star quilt block. Nice and easy to make. And let me know in the comments which block has been your favorite so far. I hope you're enjoying the mystery block of the month series. And if you want to make last month's block, we made the variable star block. I'll put the link up above. Thanks so much and I'll see you in the next video.